Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech. Today what we're going over is how to check the refrigerant charge of an air conditioning system when the subcoing reading is not posted on the outdoor unit. Check out our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning Book. We have a full outline and sample pages posted over on the website, acservicetech.com. The subcoing method is the method used to check the refrigerant charge with systems that have a TXV. So that is measured on the high side gauge and the high side port. Air conditioning systems that have a fixed orifice such as a piston chamber with a piston inside use the total superheat method measured on the low side gauge and using the low side port. In order to determine the target superheat, we would need a target superheat chart or an app in order to determine what target superheat we need. And that's going to depend on the indoor wet bulb and the outdoor dry bulb. This is actually page 75 of the Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book. To check for the target subcoin, typically you're going to find that on the reading plate, this outdoor unit reading plate says the indoor TXV subcoin of 10 degrees. But some outdoor unit reading plates don't have a target subcoin and some are worn off. Some reading plates are completely sun bleached and you can't see the target subcoin on them. Some outdoor units don't even have the target subcoin posted on the reading plate. So now I'm going to check the refrigerant charge of this R22 outdoor unit and we're going to let this system run for about 5 to 10 minutes before checking the TXV subcoin. And the thing is, we want to make sure during that 5 to 10 minutes that our R22 saturated temperature is above 32 degrees. Now right here we're reading T1 and this is T1, so that's on the vapor line right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and press T2 and now we'll be on the liquid line measuring the temperature here. If we were to take a measurement of the subcoin right now, on the high side, we're reading 98 degrees, so 98 minus 86, and we have about 12 degrees of subcoin. But obviously these are going to move around. If you notice over here, you see the saturated temperature is uh, far above 32 degrees. So it's at 50 degrees, and that's because we are just turning this unit on for the first time and the indoor wet bulb temperature is very high. When that indoor heat load is high, your saturated temperature and your pressure on your vapor side will be a little higher. So now we're checking the subcooling and we see that we have 99 degrees is a saturated temperature, 99 minus 82, and you see that we have 17 degrees of subcooling. The target subcooling is typically gonna be around eight to 12 degrees but I have seen some reading plates read 19 degrees of subcoin. I have seen some that read 7.9 or 8. So the thing is, the majority of the outdoor units say 8 to 12 degrees of subcoin. So if we looked at the target subcoin of 11 degrees, just so you know, the refrigerant charge is correct as long as we are within 3 degrees plus or minus of 11. So if you take 11 minus 3, you're at 8 degrees. So that's the, the lowest subcoin that these units typically have on the rating plate. If you take 11 plus 3, then that equals 14 degrees of subcoin. So anywhere around there is going to be the correct subcoin. So when the rating plate is wore off, I typically set the unit at 11 degrees of subcoin because that is very close to the normal range of most outdoor air conditioning units. So as you can see with this unit, we have 17 degrees of subcoin, so that's more subcoin than we need, which means that we need to recover some refrigerant out of this unit. If you want to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge, recovery, vacuum procedures, the pump down, uh, troubleshooting the refrigerant charge, I have that all in this book right here. So I have the link to that down in the description section below, and you can check it out over at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.